welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a different kind of tutorial. It's going to be a chatty tutorial. I'm going to be recreating a look which was a look that I wore out for a night out last weekend and I popped it up on my Instagram page and it was the blurriest selfie in history of selfies but so many of you wanted me to recreate the look and do a tutorial so I am going to do that for you. First going to go and change my top because I was wearing a black top then. I'm just going to go and change my top so I'll be back in two seconds. I'm back. So this is the top that I wore. It's kind of like a midi long-ish crop top and I got it from Topshop whilst I was in Manchester over last weekend. And I just wanted to say a big hello to all the girls who I met in the top shop in there. Um, I didn't get to catch any of your names, so I just wanted to say a big hello to you guys because you guys are really sweet and I just love meeting you all. I'm gonna get started with... Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna get started with a tutorial. I really cannot talk today. Okay, get it together. Right. <clears throat> I am gonna get started with this tutorial if I can actually get the words out of my mouth. I have already filled my brows in and I've done an updated brow routine video which I will leave a link to in the down bar. I've already prepped my skin as well and I have just popped some moisturizer on and now I am gonna go in with my primer water by Topshop. Oh my God, I actually cannot speak. Smashbox primer water just to prime my face really, really quickly. <laughs> Don't do it with your mouth open. I really like using this because I find it's a really easy way to prime your skin. But I am going to pop a little bit of the Pore Professional by Benefit on to my T-zone where I tend to get slightly oily. I wore this look on a night out so I kind of like to keep um, those kind of areas a little bit matte because I don't want to be having to apply too much powder and stuff whilst I'm out. So I'm just going to pop some of this on to my T-zone. I'm just going to go straight on to the eyes first. I'm going to be using my post-it sticky notes just around my eyes because I want a nice sharp line. So I like to kind of line them up so both eyes are kind of even. You seriously don't need to do this. I just find it really easy when I'm filming to like stick some sort of sellotape. You can use any kind of post-it sticky notes but I just find the glue on this a lot less tacky so it's Nice, so when I pull it off, it's not like ripping my skin off. Oh, before I start, I'm gonna pop some lip balm on, and this is the Lip Glam Lip Balm. This is like my favorite lip balm. First, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. What I like doing with these is I like putting a little bit onto my finger and then kind of warming it up and then popping it onto my eyelids. It's quite good for when you wanna have a smoky eye. I feel like the colors pop more with this. I'm going to pop them a little bit on underneath my eyes as well because we are going to be smoking the eyeshadows out. Now I'm going to go straight on to eyeshadows and all of the eyeshadows I'm going to be using are Makeup Geek eyeshadows. The first one I'm going to start off with is Shimmer Shimmer which is a really nice highlight colour. I'm just going to pop this on to my brow bone just as a bit of a highlight. I always have this stupid little hair that goes up and it's so annoying and no brow gel seems to keep it in place. I always like to work from like the top to the bottom of my eye. I just find that I have to do less blending that way. I friggin love highlights so I always go for that. Especially for like nights out and parties because it looks so good in pictures. Onto the transition shade I'm using Barcelona Beach. I'm putting that onto my Sigma E39 brush and just blending that in to the crease. And this is like a much cooler a transition colour. Usually I use quite a warm one, like a bronzer. I used to never apply transition colours. I just randomly did it one time and I was like, oh my god, my eyeshadow looks so much better with a transition colour. So if you've not tried this, then just pop a bit of your bronzer onto your crease when you're doing your eyeshadow and you will see what I mean. I'm just building the colour up until I am happy with it. I think I am good with that. I did kind of like a smoky outer corner and a smoky inner corner. I took a bit of stealth eyeshadow which is like a really nice grey colour. I popped this on to the inner corners of my eyes so I just went in and popped it in just in the inner corner. You don't want to go like too high up on your eyelid because it's just going to look like you've been punched in the eye. I did do that once and I was like oh my god when I look back in pictures I was like that is not a good look Kosh. Now I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing on the outer corner. So I'm gonna make kind of like a 
smoky outer side thing. <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining. Sometimes the voiceovers just get a little bit too much for me. I find that I'm always saying the wrong thing and you guys pick up on it and it's so funny. In my last video, I called the apples of my cheeks the apples of my eyes. <laughs> And it was so funny when I kind of noticed it myself. I was like, whoops, didn't realise I said that. I'm gonna go back in with the blending brush and just blend everything out. I like to blend as I go. Once that's done, I went and I added a black on top. Black that I'm using is Corrupt, which is again by Makeup Geek. I'm gonna kind of do it bit by bit. I don't wanna add too much in one go. And this black, you guys, is so pigmented you need the tiniest, tiniest amount. Like, I've not even re-dipped this brush back into the pot yet. Now I've got the black on there, I'm just gonna go and blend everything into the crease. You can take more of the crease color to help blend everything in together. I think I'm gonna do that. I am the biggest overpacker whenever I go anywhere. Even if it is just for one night, I'll take my whole entire life with me. But there was one product which I forgot when I did this look and I'm gonna be using it today. So basically what you wanna do is diffuse the heck out of the kind of transition area because you don't want it to be harsh at all. This is the product that I forgot when I went to Manchester. So this is a Kiko um, Long Lasting Eyeshadow Stick and this is in the shade 09. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this into the middle part of my eye. So where you can see the gaps, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on and then blend it with my finger. We don't want any harsh lines or anything like that. And this will basically just give the base for the next colour that we're going to put on top. For a second there I thought, I thought I wasn't recording. But yeah, we want the eyes to kind of pop in the middle. Once that colour is on the centre, I'm going to add a foil eyeshadow on top. The colour that I'm going to add is Houdini. I'm going to grab this Zoeva Luxe Smoky shader and just pop some of this right on top of that Kiko eyeshadow. And you want to kind of like pack the colour on rather than like dragging it. Because we don't want it to go into the black. And this basically makes that colour pop. When I did this on the night, you could see it, but not as much as you can see it now. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in with some of the black and just darken those outer and inner corners. So many people ask me, why do you do your eyes before the rest of your face? And it's because of this, if I get any kind of fallout, I've not got any kind of foundation on underneath, so it doesn't ruin anything that I've done. I'm just gonna do one last blend of the crease. For the smokier, the better. Like, it's all about the blending, I find, with the smokier. Now I'm gonna take these off. I'm just gonna make sure that we blend just a little bit, so it's not like too majorly harsh. Now I'm gonna pop a little bit of some eyeliner on. This is my favorite perversion eyeliner by Urban Decay. I pretty much don't use anything else because nothing compares to this. So I'm just lining my upper waterline. I really need a mirror. So I'm gonna line my upper waterline and also my lower waterline as well. When I do like a smoky eye like this, I always like to make sure both of my water lines are lined. I'm going to quickly add a bit of mascara. I'm going to use the Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline. This stuff is incredible. Seriously, haven't stopped using this since I got it. Every time I like try a different mascara, I have to like redo it or add this on top because it is just that amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to do my usual mascara combo just because I want to pop some falsies on. The lashes I'm going to be using are the Huda Beauty lashes in the shape. Do you call it shape or do you call it style? I'm going to go with style. Um, I'm going to use them in the style Giselle. I am going to pop these on off camera. The lashes are on. I'm just going to clean up underneath my eyes just slightly. I can't actually remember if I wore any winged eyeliner, so I'm just gonna pop a little bit on just to hide the band. The eyeliner that I'm using is the Super Liner Superstar by L'Oreal. I'm gonna pop this on to my upper lash line. Really like a thin amount, like nothing major. I feel like I have to stop my life when I do my eyeliner, like I can't talk or anything.
Now I'm going to move on to my face. And for my face, I used a mixture of the EX1 Invisible Foundation in the shade F200 and the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation in SB8.5. And I just mixed these up on the back of my hand and then popped them on with a foundation brush. I've recently been doing this quite a lot where I will apply with a foundation brush and then blend everything in with a beauty blender. And this looks like there is like major coverage going on. And there is, but the beauty blender will then like take away kind of any excess and make it look quite skin-like because the EX1 foundation is like super, super glowy and super, super light. It doesn't feel like you've got anything on your skin. I'm gonna get rid of my Rudolph nose. I try and add more coverage like kind of around my cheeks and kind of less anywhere else. I'm just dragging it down a little bit. The reason why I like using a foundation brush is because you get an even amount of product on your skin in comparison to like a buffing brush or a stippling brush. As much as I can see that, now that I've got my foundation on, I am gonna blend it all away with my beauty blender. This just gives it that like flawless look and feel to it. Now I'm gonna correct my bags. Um, I'm using the Illamasqua Cream Pigment in Emerge and I'm just popping that on to my under eyes. I really like using this because it really helps kind of brighten my under eyes. And loads of you will have been asking me where you can get this. You can get this from the Illamasqua website. Um, and I think it's also stocked on selfridges.com. Okay, so eye bags have been sorted. I'm now gonna pop a little bit of my concealer. Um, the one that I've been loving recently is the Bare Minerals Strip of Light Concealer. It's really, really lightweight. It just gives a really nice kind of glowy look and feel. I'm just adding it in that triangle shape. I don't think I apply concealer any other way, especially for like parties and stuff. And then I am going to go and do the usual spots, a little bit on my forehead, down the centre of my nose, a little bit on my chin, cupid's bow, and just under where my contour would be. Got my wall paint on, and now I'm just going to go and blend it out with my beauty blender. I am going to contour with some cream products because that's what I did on the night out and I'm going to use my Laura Mercier contour kit. I love this thing. Um, I'm going to take the medium shade and I'm just going to apply it ever so slightly. I'm just going to apply it to the hollows of my cheeks. I really like this stuff because it blends so well. Just applying a little bit on to my hairline and then the rest down my jawline. And I'm just going to slightly add a little bit down. And I'm going to blend everything out. It's kind of like a stippling duo fibre brush. I'm just going to set that contour with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades here. And just set pretty much everywhere I contoured. And because I'm mixing like a cool tone and a warm tone contour powder, I feel like I didn't need to bronze up either. I'm just gonna set all the places that we highlighted as well and then I'm gonna use the Soap and Glory Kick Ass Powder for that. And I'm taking it on my Zoeva Luxe Highlight Brush. And I'm just gonna set my under eyes. And then my forehead area and also underneath my contour too. I can't actually remember what I used on my cheeks. I feel like it was maybe, I have no idea. So I am gonna add on top of this the Benefit Majorette Blusher. I'm just gonna pop this on to the apples of my cheeks. And it's a really nice like springy shade. And it smells, oh, it smells incredible. It smells like sweets and fruit. For highlighter, I'm going to add a little bit of my Mara Luminizer because this stuff is super, super, super highlighty ink. Highlighting, highlighted, highlighty. I don't know, it's just really pigmented and it just looks so gorgeous on the skin. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that onto the high points of my cheeks. 
stay down eyebrow hair. I'm going to take whatever's left on my brush down my forehead, centre of my nose, or the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. And a bit on my chin, why not? <laughs> Now that everything on like my skin base is done, I'm just going to buff everything in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this is in the shade Sandstorm. I think it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but it seems to do the trick, so we're going to stick with that. And the brush that I'm using is the Lux Cheek Finish. I always use brushes which aren't supposed to be for that thing but I still use them and they still do the job. So don't get scared by when brushes are like, this is an eyeliner brush. Like if you want to use it for something else, go ahead. That's kind of like toned down the contour slightly. I am going to deepen it up a little bit because I think in the picture I did have quite a heavy contour. I am going to take a little bit more of the cooler shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm just going to concentrate that color in the hollow. That's better. Just to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that black eyeshadow and just run it along the lower lash line. I'm gonna use my Zoeva brow line brush. Huh, what do you know, I'm using a different brush for this. What I like to do first is I like to pack the color in and then kind of blend it away. It's looking pretty smoky. We like smoky. And I'm not going like all the way in because I am going to add a highlighting shade there. So I'm just kind of keeping it into two outer thirds of the eye. And then as you all know, I like to kind of really blend it out and up. I'm just going to grab a pencil brush and just diffuse that out a little bit more. Now I'm going to add a little bit of that highlighting shade in the inner corners and the colour that I'm going to use is the same shimmer shimmer colour that we used on the highlight. For this part I'm going to grab a pencil, a brush by Nanshi and I'm just going to apply that on into the inner corners. And it just helps like really brighten that area up and then just really slightly blending it in. Um, same on the other eye. And then not forgetting mascara on the lower lash line. So I'm going to use the same Maybelline mascara to do that. I'm going to grab this bad boy and just like layer it up. And the same on the other eye. I can always do my makeup with a really tiny mirror. And people find that really weird, but I've kind of like always done my makeup in a tiny mirror. Now onto the lips. I'm just going to wipe away the lip balm and then line my lips. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk, just lining away. I really like this colour because you can really over like line your lips if you really wanted to because it is just like the shade of your lips. I think I've fallen in love with lip liners. Okay, so for lips I went in with Gerard Cosmetics Buttercup because I wanted a really nice like nude lip. So this, you guys, is the makeup that I wore. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a bit different, it's a bit chatty, it's very, very smoky. I personally love a smoky eye. I just think they are like the most glamest kind of makeup looks that you could possibly wear, especially for a night out or a party or any kind of wedding receptions or anything like that. It's been a while since I did a smoky eye on myself because I've just been loving neutral eyeshadows and I think this has definitely got me back into experimenting a bit more and yeah, I just really hope you guys like the look. I know a lot of you did request this on my Instagram. If you aren't following me on Instagram, I will leave my details in the info box and I will show you my Instagram username right here in case you do want to follow me. I'm going to leave it as that because I'm sure it's going to be a very very long video to get through because I just blabber on for ages. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it and yeah I guess I will see you all in my next video. Bye!